Hi everybody, this is Joe Kulas. Just going to be giving a little preview on how to deassemble the rear buffer tube and stock of the M4 Umarax Ops or any other of the Umarax M4 Colt style 22LR rifles. You might be able to tell a little bit more familiar from that view. But anyways, the first thing you want to do on this, you don't mess you actually need to do it on this. Uh, the other M4s you wouldn't need to, but you need to start to take it off here with the rear stock, which you can take this little pin, just kind of hold it up, and then you're just going to take it off. If you have a carbine extension, little thing, it'll help take it off much easier, but it's not actually needed for this, and you'll see why shortly. And then you're going to take the little Ellen wrench that's included in there, and you're going to take this little screw out right here. And before you start any of this, you should also take all the little parts, uh, the little, you, you know what I mean when you take your gun apart, the, the uh, upper, take all the little stuff off, like your little fake mag, uh, well not, take all that little stuff off. Alright, and once you've taken off that, You'll be left with what you see with inside here. Flashlight in there. You see there's a little screw in there. And this is where your very, very long Allen wrench that comes with your Umarex M4 comes in handy. You're just going to put it right in there. And it takes a little while for it to come all the way loose. But it's a little bit on the longer side screw, so... And then you're going to notice it comes right off. That's why the Colt or any other type of uh, wrench would not be required because you don't actually have to do anything with your little thing right there. Alright, so this piece gets removed completely. And you also notice that you can have this little retainer part which has a, inside this. this uh, buffer tube, there's actually a little thing in there for it to hold in there better. I'm just going to put all that to the side. And you're also going to take a little plate here and put it off to the side. You're going to notice that it's not set up to like your standard AR-15 lower. It's not solid there. You don't have the little uh, springs that are going to come out for your little receiving pins here and whatnot. It's differently set up. So with everything put to the side here, this is how the mag pole assembles. You have an extension plate. It goes over this. It's actually meant for it. If you see that there, there you got your little grooves. I'm going to get a light on this also. You got your little grooves to fit on the grooves of the Umarax plate. Now, this is something that for my manufacturers, they just told me about, and I bought one. Oh, actually, sorry, I bought one of each color to try with it. You can, you can actually hand tighten the screw here. It's a replacement screw for this and a replacement piece for this in general. You'll, you'll see why here in a second. It's going to screw it in almost, almost all the way at first and you'll see why here in a second. Now the standard screw it comes with is a little bit longer if you screw it all the way in. It's a little bit too long to get your upper on all of the way. So you're going to only screw it in most of the way, and then you're going to take your upper, and you're just going to slide it right on there. And I'm just going to slide in my my front pin here first. And a commonly asked question also is for the back pin, is it very hard to get out? They say use gentle, you know, don't use excessive force, use care to take it out. I actually called Umarex when I was talking to them about this, and they say you actually do have to use a little bit of force to get it out there because it's they wanted it to be tight so there wouldn't be any type of errors when the mechanism is actually firing. Even in one excessive force, just brutally like taking a hammer, just going all at it. They do not want any of that. But yes, you do need to take something to kind of nudge it out there, which what I used was actually just a newer you'll see buffer tube that you're going to put on here. It works pretty easy, you just want to try not to scratch your gun up. Alright, now with that done, you can take a 
Phillips here and then finish screwing in your screw here and notice I didn't put the rear receiving pin in yet alright because when you put the screw all the way in it's going to make it so it's not going to lift up all the way this is the only annoyance about it right off the back because you gotta every time you want to clean your gun you're gonna have to take off this rear piece which you'll see in a second because you got this little screw here or you can then get a, a little bit shorter screw but you have to screw it in all the way otherwise it's gonna jingle a little bit back there alright now you have your UBR style stock alright you have these little uh, tightening pins here on each side and this is also a little bit where it gets tricky you have that little empty gap there which makes it a little bit weird but they designed it so you can slide it on there's going to be a little bit of wiggle and then you just grab your little Allen wrench here and you're just going to tighten these little screws here it's pretty simple not too hard front and backs on each side so that's a total of four. And the best way to do it is put two in until you get a little bit of struggle and then you're going to go to the other side and do the same until you get a little bit of struggle. Alright. I want to get that... Alright. And then when you got those just barely in there, you just going to have a little bit of wiggle. So what you want to do, you have a little bit of wiggle, not much. What you want to do is you're going to want to tighten, but not strip the screws, for there aren't any extra screws included. I'm going to try to get some in the future, but each each one only comes with them. And I found they can find them at uh, your local home of the comedy and whatnot. So if you actually or um, Aces or anything like that, Simonsons. Just make sure you don't thread them because these are very high quality screws, but they can be threaded. And you'll, it's just kind of because they're going on, they're a little, a little interesting of a way you can see. So, and then you're just going to go to the other side and tighten those up a little bit better. Alright, and that's everything that needs to be done. And then, actually, I'm just going to put the rear retaining pin in there a little bit later. But after that, you have your Yamorex 22LR Magpul stock. And just like the uh, Magpul on the official ARs, the 223 or 6.8 or whatnot, you got this little latch here. It's also reversible. Put uh, bullets in there or... Maybe maybe a pack of shorts, whatnot, just depending on what you want, or some cleaning, whatever, anything that you really want to put in there. Earplugs also a good plus. You got your M4 on there, and then also, um, that's all you really need to do. It comes with all the pieces that you need. You can get a little laser on there, or front grip, or under the under the barrel flashlight holder. All right. And another, uh, it's not going to be included in this video, but so it doesn't go on too long here, but your little flash presser here actually comes off, and I'll be having a, a video for that, for a one half by 28 thread adapter, so you can put fake cans on there, a real silencer, or any anything of your like, you know, whether you want a fake can, or you want a different muzzle brake on there, or anything of that sort. And uh, just stay tuned for that, they should be uh, in stock around the 15th, to 16th of this month, so they they will be in. Bef I'm getting about 10 of those in, but they sh I should have a ready lease supply in uh, early July. So just keep on checking back and uh, take care.